Well, hello everyone, I'm Yanni from the UVU Gaming and today we are back in Animalica and I know it's still a little bit dark here. It is very early in the morning, it's not even 6 a.m. yet, but um, this was kind of to illustrate something. Uh, you can see we have the sun rays right here and I really want to keep it... Um, with my little build here that's why well for one you know i wanted to make sure we could kind of still see the house from up there and not cover it completely uh, behind both trees and um, a settlement building or something in this area but for this i also kind of like the idea of you know you would sit here and then just kind of enjoy the sunrise because it always comes up right there uh, so I'd, i have to try and remember not to block this off completely uh, and put anything that I put right here needs to be something that is not too tall. So what I'm thinking is that I want to, I think I want to turn this area into kind of a little area where we can have some chickens or something wandering around. You can see I put a little bit stuff down here. So far I've only really used the enrichments that we've kind of found in the world. Uh, but we're gonna have to go and uh, visit the landscape soon. Uh, but I kind of like this because, you know, I put a log here because this is kind of my work area. You would imagine you have, you can see we have lots and lots of logs in here. And I'm kind of pretending that these have been cut into like more appropriate pieces for later uh, processing, right? So we can process them into timber or whatever else we need them for, or planks or whatever, you know. I have all this story running around in my head all the time. And then we have like this big log lying here that is kind of ready to... Uh, be cut into smaller pieces and then of course we are busy i'm a busy lady right we are out exploring gathering resources we're busy recruiting people and collecting animals and man we don't have uh, time for all the little details so i kind of like this we have this old log that has kind of been it's called a fallen tree but you know it's kind of been lying around here for a while the grass has kind of started filling up here around it we got this old this little fern that has kind of sprouted over here and uh, then I think I want to kind of turn this into a little bit of a little bit more messy area. We're going to put maybe some chicken coops or something in here just for, uh, for the chickens to have a place to hang out and just leave it a little bit wild looking if we can. I'm not very good at that stuff. I usually end up having everything being very like straight and linear and things I feel like. Yeah, I'm not so good at it, all that organic stuff, but I kind of like that idea and that way this will not be filled with anything that is very tall. I did put this uh, tree over here or tall bush or what, well I guess it's a tree, right? Um, because there is this little, you can see it kind of bends in right there. Uh, and then we have the next one and I'm considering putting another settlement here that will then be turned this way uh, but I want to see once we place it how much the building is going to block it because if it's facing that way the house is going to be here right because it's going to be turned the other way around compared to this so the house will be here and the crops will be on this side and then uh, it depends how much it's going to block my view from over here if I'm going to do that otherwise we're going to have to find something else I think it's going to block my view though uh, because it's probably going to stick out to there right but the tree or the sun does come up right over here hmm so that's the question if we could do that or we'll have to place something else there because i kind of want to kind of move around a little bit here try and make this like more of a little bit of an open area uh, we might still put some pavement around here and then going maybe over here to the other house uh, but still leave this kind of open and this still kind of open so we can have some dogs and stuff wandering around uh, which reminds me, let's go and pick up Hubert here. Uh, let's see, I don't know if you get to keep your name if I pick you up, uh, but we'll see. There we go. Probably not, uh, but then we're just going to rename you once we have placed you. So I think for now we're going to try and put you over here. We're going to try and put you on Wandering and see how that works out. Uh, because I like the idea of having some animals wandering around. Technically I would like to build much more around here to kind of fence it in. But I don't know exactly where I want everything to be. So that will be a while, right? Uh, and I think from based on what other people have mentioned in the Discord, the animals don't seem to wander quite as far as they did in the past. In the past, sometimes you would place an animal and very soon it will be all the way across the biome. But they seem to stick around a little bit more locally. 
So we're gonna try and chance it and we're gonna put Hubert down here. Uh, technically, I think I would want a bigger dog actually in this area and give Hubert a different area somewhere, but I haven't fully decided. For now, we're gonna put you kind of around here. I want you wandering around near this house, right? So we're gonna go in here, we're gonna give you a name. There we go, and he's already off, right? So there we go, now you should have your name, yes. Let's see where you're gonna go off to. Little one. Okay, maybe you're just gonna go for a very long stroll. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, no. Aww. Yeah, are you happy now? Yep, we gave you a little spot, at least for now. I don't think this is where I want you in the long run, but we'll see. Uh, I do want more dogs kind of wandering around this area. Not too many right in the same spot, uh, but kind of spread out over here. I think I would like someone over here, you know, kind of to keep an eye on the chickens and things. Uh, once we get some of those built, I kind of like that idea. Um, also, I think... I am not 100% sure, but I think some of the bigger dogs might actually be able to wander in there, but I don't think Hubert will do it. Um, or maybe you will. Are you going to manage those stairs? Oh, he does actually wander in there. Oh, I love it. But he's so tiny, it kind of looks a little bit odd when he walks up those stairs. So I think I want one of the bigger ones over here. Um, and then see then he's actually gonna go in here and I love that because normally they won't go in the buildings There's a lot of issues with it There has been a lot of issues with it and generally you can't really place them into the buildings um, Where did you go? Did you go out? The back or did you fall through because this is what I was worried about uh, Yeah as he is, oh, there he is. Where were you hiding? Uh, which is one of the reasons why I probably don't want him over here because he's so small, so I won't be able to see it if he falls through this through the floor, right? Because he's not very tall. If some of the other ones manage to fall through the floor, they will most likely kind of stick up, and I can actually see them and might have a chance of picking them back up again. Um, of course, you can technically try and email the developers and maybe they can kind of pull them out if something like that happens but generally normally you can't really put them inside the building i don't know if we can even place him there if we just try to do that so let's just try and pick you up again and let's see if we can even place you directly in here okay that doesn't work and you know x and z doesn't work on the animals just testing it but yeah you can see it's not gonna allow me to place you anywhere in here and generally you can't do that, but this house seems to be special. I haven't really tested it in um, Slice Land, for instance, or Alaria, if you can get, get them to wander in. Uh, but this one kind of works, and I don't, I don't know if it's because the, the, the dog that you actually find here, when you get to Apache in the first place, there's a dog that wanders around here, and that one actually walks in here, the wild, or, you know, it's... Well, a wild dog, but it's one that you haven't tamed right. It will actually walk in there, and I don't know if that's why it works right here, but it does, and I really like it. Uh, so we definitely want a dog wandering around somewhere around here. And, of course, it also makes sense, since we have this dog house that we can't move anyway. So, anyway, we're going to try and leave you around here, and you're going to wander around. I know that's a lot of a ramble, but I think I want to do a little bit of stuff here around the base before we or just kind of mess around with it a bit before we move on to uh, the next biome. And as you can see, all my crafting stations out here are gone, even my animal um, containers and uh, a bunch of destroyers. I still have to move these things. Uh, but for the most part, I have uh, picked everything up here. Uh, these are all my stations, some extra storages. These are the ones that were inside the basic workstation. And for the time being, I'm kind of just making use of some of this for all the stuff I haven't found a specific uh, place for yet. Uh, all of these, are all pretty much all that I have, like one copy of everything. I have some duplicates of the small hammer because I'm not sure how many we need. I kept two of these because I wanted to check if these are the ones we need for settlements. Um, but other than that, I've tried to put at least one copy of every single type of weapon, even if it's just something very poor in here, just because I like collecting things. I even kept a baseball bat and a crowbar, one set of the old 
set here uh, clothing because we are wearing something different now right we have to reinforce set and then all the other stuff everything left over i have all the way over there uh, eventually i'm probably gonna sell it but i'm not really that desperate for money right now and uh, i kind of like seeing how much is actually in the game if you just kind of play through it so you can see you get a lot of stuff and Pretty much, I have like three flamethrowers. <laughs> uh, probably a good idea to just keep a duplicate of some things. Um, and that's what I'm gonna do over there. I'm gonna keep, well, some things are unique, so I only have one. But other than that, I'm gonna try and keep a duplicate, even if I, I'm carrying something. And you can see all these crowbars, you get a lot of baseball bats, hatchets, extra fire axes, these radar axes, even though they're supposed to be rare. Um, I have one on me and then I think maybe that's one over there or maybe that's the one I took out. I don't really remember now, um, but I should have one right here and you can see I have like five in storage here. An extra crossbow, you can find a few of those in the game, you can even buy them. I have like two recurve bows, um, but for right now I'm just going to put it all the way over here because I think it's going to be a little while before we get over here and we need to find a place for these. Oh dear, and then this, I'm just waiting for them, they are at 89% and I can move this, uh, but I want to harvest them first of course, uh, and then of course we need to move these. So anyway, that was kind of just a little update on what I've been messing around with here, I've also moved all the animals of course, I didn't just pick things up, so all the Green Hills animals are in here, uh, these are all empty over here, I added a couple more, they almost fit perfectly, there's just this little space, but I don't think that's a problem. It looks fine. Um, so look at that. Normally if you have a building it would be rare to have anything that would fit that perfectly. So I think it fits really nicely. Kind of considering maybe we'll put some storage or something up there. Uh, or maybe we'll put like some... Um, something like this. Uh, I kind of wish we had some hay bales. Not these ones but the ones that you get straw from when you loot them. Or something that would kind of look cool to have up there as like feed for some of the animals and things um but i don't know and then i've been filling up these storages so we have all our novak it's soon as then animals we have land based uh is that all the places we've been to uh do, do, do. that was novak it's soon as then corpse harbor land base and green hills yeah that seems about right um so anyway, that is that. So what is the next thing we need to do? Man, I have way too many things going on, on in my head at the moment. But one thing I do want to do. One thing I do want to do. Because we got some settlement agreements, right? So we need to figure out what the next thing is we want to build. Uh, so we can build uh, another one of these up here. Because we have a T1. And we can do a T2. The question is what we are going to go for. Um, carrot, cucumber, pepper, lettuce. Lettuce is pretty rare, but as I said, we have, I think we have a little over 70 now because we got some, a little bit from Kitsuna Sten. So that's enough for like over 10 crates. Um, with those, and then we have, we have a lot of tomatoes. I do have a good deal of wheat, uh, but that could be something. Hmm. Because there's not really anywhere that I can remember that wheat spawns. At least not that we've seen yet in the biomes we've been through yet where it kind of respawns. So it's something you just find in loot. So this might be a good thing to get. Eggplants, um, carrots, cucumbers, peppers, lettuce even. It's all something you can find in certain biomes just spawning in the wild. You can also find it in loot in houses. Strawberries spawn in the wild. Elderberries, we have like 2,000 of these. So, might not be the one I need the most at the moment. So, I'm kind of leaning towards the wheat farm. I think that might be the one we're going to go for if we have everything we need. We need timber nails, farming tools, slash stone, wheat. Uh, we definitely have 100 wheat, cloth, woodlocks, and the T1 should have all of that. So, I think maybe the wheat farm. And then we need a T2. So, that would be down here. We have the banana. Aloe vera, that could be a good one, because we're going to need aloe vera, I think it's for the, is that for the, hmm, the cure potion or something, I think, but we do need aloe vera seeds, and I don't think I have 50, 
Do I have 50 of these? Because we can plant them. You can plant them in gardening beds, but if we get, I would rather keep my seeds and, you know, um, make a settlement before I consider planting some in gardening beds. I'm just trying to remind myself where I put things. That's the thing when you move things around, then you forget, right? So you can see we have all these. We can also plant strawberries in the gardening beds. Um, there's the uh, herbal seeds. What is it that you give me? I can't even remember anymore. Uh, chili pepper, eggplants. Uh, oh, aloe vera. See, we only have 33. It's a good thing I haven't planted it. Or, or I don't remember if I actually started out. I think I started out planting some of these, didn't I? Uh, or was that the lettuce? Maybe it was the lettuce that I planted some of. Um, but see, we have 121 lettuce. We could easily do some of those in the gardening bed to get some extra lettuce. Mm, so we need more aloe vera seeds. Hmm. Okay, so that's not what we're going to do just yet, but I think that's the one I might want to do. Let's just have a little look here. Settlements. We have aloe vera and then there's sugar cane. These are easy to come by. Uh, we do need exotic seeds. I'm not sure if I have 25 to actually build this, but we can easily just go to Kitsuna Stand and get, get some of these. You can even get them in Cobb's Harbor. There's a few that spawn in land base too, so we can get these in the world. Um, the apiary we already have. Ooh, these are T1 too. I actually thought, no, this is T1. The chicken one is T1. Hmm, that's actually kind of a nice one. Hmm, that's another way of ha having chickens, of course. Uh, and this is actually the fence I tend to use when I want to fence in my chickens. It's the, the stick fence. Um... And then we need stuck chickens, with, which you have to buy from the animal trader, but nah. I'm not really in a hurry to get lots of eggs and feathers at this point. Um, though feathers can be nice, but still. Mm, pig farm, T2, that would give me ham. That could be good for the animal, or for uh, getting enough ham for making more crates, but I don't know if we really need it. Um, and this is where I was talking about maybe you could avoid this if you don't like uh, killing animals, right? Uh, then they kind of defeat that purpose a little bit because, of course, you need to kill them to actually get the ham. Uh, but it's just, you know, role-playing purposes that maybe you wouldn't want this, but I'm not sure if we can get enough ham. We do have some, but I'm not sure if we can get enough from the world to not meet this. But I think I might try and avoid it just to see if we can get all the way through and make all the settlements without actually uh, getting that one. This provides wool, so that would be perfectly fine. Uh, but what do we need wool for? I don't think I've used any wool at all in the game. Or anything. I lose a, use a lot of cloth and leather and things for crafting stations and armor, but I don't remember. I think we just need it for some decor or something, maybe. Uh, maybe the sleeping bag or something takes wool. And there's a the goat farm. Goat cheese, that could be good for the settlements, you know, if we need enough cheese, but maybe we can get enough. Um, then there's the cow farm, we can get milk, that could also be a good thing. But I think the one I want the most is actually the aloe vera one. So, hmm. Then we have fishermen, that's the tea one again, provides for a fish. That could also be good for getting pro protein. And then there's all of these. I don't really feel any stress about getting any of these. So I think aloe vera is the one. And then I think we're just going to make the wheat farm. Uh, let's see how many. I know it's a lot of rambling. But <laughs> let's have a little look in here. Because I dropped some of my extra in here. Okay, we have 73 aloe vera right there. And then we have... What do I have over here? I have 100... See, I only have 100 and what 73 aloe vera, but we haven't really gotten to any like the desert-like areas or something where there's more aloe vera. You can get aloe vera in Corpse Harbor, but it's not really extreme how many you find there. Uh, but they are there. I feel like there are some other biomes that, at least in the past, I've find found more. Uh, so it might build up over time, but I think that's the one I want to go for. Yeah, so we're going to go for the weed one. Let's do the weed one. Here we go. I'm not getting anywhere. I've been talking for 20 minutes now, I think. <laughs> but it's just a little update on what's going on in my head and with the base and where I want to go with this. So we're going to do this. And then we're going to see if we can actually find everything. Because I have now been ordering or, you know, sorting everything kind of out. Uh, but it should still be, you know, 
easy to find things. We need some large stone. We need cloth, which we have right over here. Let's grab these. And then we need nails, wood logs. Make more timber as well. So let's just grab a stack. And nails, they should still be over here. So let's grab a step of those. And then we need farming tools. They are in here. We actually found some, right? Plus I had crafted some as well. And then we need the weed. And of course, right now, everything is kind of straight out a little bit. But I don't really mind it because it's not that often that I actually do a lot of crafting where you need so many different things. Uh, so I don't really mind that I have to kind of run in here to get my weed, for instance. There we go. And of course, now I've removed my basic workstation temporarily. We're going to find another place for it. But let's just go in here. And then we're going to make the timber. And how much did we need? Um... Well, let's see. We can max it. That's that. Let's just do 50. Okay, that gives us 300. Do I still have enough woodlocks? Yes, I do. And then we're going to go in here. Going to do the wheat farm. Craft. Going to write that down on my little list. I have a little list here that I have written down which ones I've already built. So I don't have to run around and check them all the time. Um... Because it's easy to forget when you're going to end up having like 20 of them or something. Right, so now we have the wheat farm. Let's just see how much room it actually takes if we would put some of one of these over here. Uh, okay, that's a pretty big... That's a pretty... Feels like... Is that just me? No, maybe the house is the same size. But you can see if we put this over here. Let's press X to... Uh, sort out with free placement. See, that would probably completely cover that sunrise. Um, but apart from that, I kind of like the idea of... Do I have you kind of... Yeah, that tree is kind of messing with me a little bit, but let's see if we can do it anyway. Get you in here. Mm, so you would have to go... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, wow. Okay, the sensitivity here is tricky. Um, <laughs> kind of. There you go. Not move, move my mouse, but just use my... Okay, let's see if we can get it. So it's like lined up with that more or less. And then just move you back there. Yes, let's try and put you right there. Okay, see, so then we get like this little back here, but it would kind of make a natural little, you know, kind of a little bit of an enclosure here. Because we have the fence right here, we have the fences going all the way around, right? Uh, we can loot it right here, and then it goes here, and of course it wasn't actually parallel, <laughs> so I'm going to have to move it. But it was mostly just to see if it would actually... Mm, See, because then we would have the sunrise, but we can't really see the mountains. So I'm kind of like thinking if I like that or not. Don't need to be able to see the mountains because we're going to put other buildings in the back there. So we might not see them anyway, but I can still kind of wanted to have that. So I don't know, but is there something else I could put in the back that would not be quite as tall? Hmm... Do, do, do. Because this would be a nice area for chickens, right? And then we could have a path coming out here. And then we could just put a little fence or something on the side to get fenced it in a little bit. I'm not going to fence them in completely. They can still kind of wander off. Uh, but just to have a little bit of an area right here. Hmm. I don't know. What time is it? I think we are going to... We're gonna try and sleep just so we can see what it actually looks like when the sun comes up. It doesn't really matter at all. As long as you have enough food and drinks, then it doesn't really matter one bit. Uh -huh. Okay, so it's very, very dark. Let's go up here to our... Look at that. It's so cozy with this torch. Look at that little spot here. Very cozy. And there we go. So you can see if we are over here. I might still get the sunrise right in that corner there. Mm. Ok, 
Okay, we're just gonna wait for it to come up because it's gonna come up very soon. Uh, and I don't want to miss the actual passing the uh, mountains out there. Okay, it looks kind of nice with this actually as a, as a little background for something, but mm, no, I think I'm gonna miss my I'm gonna miss my sunrise. So we are gonna we're not gonna put a settlement right there. That's not gonna be the case. Nope. So we're gonna put, pick this back up again. Yep. Let's just go here. See if we can get it. I prefer being able to see the bar. You can just keep hitting, but then I kind of have feel like I have a better shot at picking up the right thing. How's Hubert doing? You you're doing well. I could hear him. Uh, still hanging around, so that's a good thing. There we go. So yeah, look at that. That looks oh, it looks just so amazing. I don't know. I'm gonna have to figure out something else because I kind of do want to build around that way, but. I don't know, maybe we'll try and fit it so we end up with some animal enclosures over there. Mm, to kind of fence it off a bit, but you know, then it will still be low enough so you can kind of sit here and look out there. Uh, but I don't want this to just be completely open, uh, the entire thing. I kind of want to have some kind of, you know, but I like that. Look at that with the sunrise. Wow, it's the green one today. It's my least favorite one though. <laughs> I love when you get the blue, there's, there's like a blue or kind of a purple one. That is just amazing. There's also a red one sometimes. I do like that it changes though. That's pretty cool, depending on the day. Okay, so that's not what we're going to do with you. Okay, then we have this going out. How far are we going? We are here. So this would kind of be a good time, I think. Right here could kind of bring down another, you know, down here. Then this entire area would kind of be, you know, a little bit open and then we could have some kind of animal enclosure out here. It might be a nice place for horses. Look at that. We have some some grass here already. I'm trying to place the animals or I want to try and place some animals in areas where we have a lot of grass instead of, you know, right here. Make this into an animal enclosure. That would be kind of boring because there's no grass. So I think this could be a nice spot right out here. It's okay that some of it is like this, but... For the most part, I kind of want this. And that matches up with that over there, right? So we could have like an animal and or yeah, I think like horses or something out here might be nice. Um and then I'm still thinking about putting cows over there, so I think that's what we're gonna do. Um But we could put something else here. Um, what if we put a kind of an a settlement going down this way and then put the path in front of it it will still kind of get to here but it might not block things too much let's just see how that works let's see how that works it's a lot of pondering here mm, okay let's try and move you around and then we could have you here let's check that it is actually that looks about right. And... Okay, that's really hard to see. Mm. Yep. Okay, but I'm gonna try... Get you... Kind of placed... Very, very close there. Oh. Do, 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 do. Mm, do I want you a little bit back so we could have something on the side? Or do I want... No, I think I want it as far over here as I can get it. So we're going to try and put you right there. Does that look like it is? Yes, that's good. Look at that. And then it kind of leads around this way. It doesn't actually go out very fast, so that's a good thing. Right? The sun is kind of moving that way around. So it came up all the way over there, right? See, it's actually hidden behind these trees. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. I love this. That is perfect. Yep, that's going to go right there. That's going to go right there. That's cool. And then we're going to have to figure out how we can get these to work because this is going to stick out maybe a little. Well, it might actually work pretty nicely. Let's see if we have some more of these. Otherwise, we're going to make some. I might make this video a little bit of a longer one because I know I'm kind of rambling a lot about my my um, my plans and thoughts and things, but 
I thought I wanted to also do some videos like this a little bit instead of everything just being out adventuring, right? And it is part of the building, at least to me, it's all this thinking about, okay, where do I want to go with it? Of course, I could just build everything and just show you guys, but I also kind of like including a little bit of the process. So let me know if you want to see more of this stuff or if you just want me to just go ahead and do my building stuff and then just show you guys when I'm done. <laughs> Uh, I'm not gonna show everything. Sometimes I am gonna do a little bit like I put those that little log and things in uh, And just add it a bit and I've been adding the, the animal containers and stuff So I'm gonna do some of that, but oh look at that hmm It is not gonna match up completely, but we could I could just pull this back so that it goes into more we can kind of hide it a bit um, this would have to go about there somewhere, right? So if we just kind of say, just put you there, and then we're gonna, I don't like this, like that doesn't look nice, but I'm gonna try and pick this bag up. Okay, let's do a little F5 save here, in case I end up picking something up I don't want to. And there we go. So now I can see how far out more or less I wanted, right? And then we're gonna try and get this in so that it kind of matches up with that more or less. Uh, let's try there and see how that goes. Uh, that doesn't look too bad. That doesn't look too bad at all. Wow. Okay, that actually lined up really, look with that little piece of board right there. <laughs> that was almost perfect. Okay, let's see how it works over here, because I want to make sure it can go past there, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we're gonna try and get you in kind of like that. And then the next one is kind of more or less... Ooh. In here there we go look at that yeah that's fine that's close enough it's close enough and then we can put a little bit of decor out here in front um, but there we go look at that I like how that looks I like how that looks look at that with the trees it just adds something extra we're definitely gonna be adding more little decor here and there more bushes more trees um, we're gonna have to try and add in some animals. I haven't fully figured out what I want to do. Well, I want some dogs around the place, right? Yeah, I don't know if we're gonna have any animals right here, but uh, we're definitely gonna have to try and add some decor around uh, this place here. We might put a tree out here or something. Uh, maybe it had to be like a taller one to kind of break it up a little bit because now we've kind of kept them a little bit lower. Um, but I like this, it's still fairly open, so we can see the buildings in the back, it's not too cramped. Uh, I like that you can kind of see through there, I like the weed and everything. Oh, I'm happy with this, I'm happy with this. <laughs> there we go, look at that. Wow, with the sun rays and everything. Yeah, I think I like that, I think I like how that's turning out. I'm not quite sure where we're gonna go with this little area here. We might actually build more of a, put a fence in here, going over to here somewhere. Because mm, I don't like this being completely open, that just, I don't know, that looks weird to me. Uh, but I want it to be something low, something low. Yeah, so I think we're gonna go in here Well, I should have enough sticks on me. Let's just try that for a moment and see. I really like, there's also the bigger one. Yeah, I don't think I want this for that, but let's just see how big the difference is. I don't know why, but I really like this one for the chickens. It's also the one that, oh, it looks like it's the one that's been used actually for the settlement as well, right? Uh, where is it? The chicken farm. Do -do. So you could have this somewhere nearby. I'm going to have this chicken farm somewhere completely different. Um, I just want a place where my chickens can kind of roam around. Uh, at least the ones I'm going to hang on to. Uh, to keep around here so I always end up using some of these because I just really like them so let's just craft some more of those 
There's all kinds of other fences you could mess around with, of course. I just feel like these work really nicely for the small animals because they it looks like something that can keep them in, right? If you use something like this and try to put bunnies or chickens or something, it just feels like they can just run out. So it's like, why do you have them enclosed there? Not that I really want them to, um, to keep them completely locked in. I just kind of want to create some kind of little illusion of a sort of enclosure. Okay, it's actually... Not as tall as I expected. I thought it would be taller. Ooh, well, this one could maybe be a nice one. And then, of course, that's going to be poking through. But depending on what they look like, it wouldn't matter that much. But the leaves poking through, because they would still do that if it's not completely closed, the fence, right? So I'm going to try and get you over here. Do I have you... Uh, no, I think it has to go like this. Let's just check. No, it has to go like that. Yes. Okay, I don't know if there's a difference to the sides. No, I don't think there is. So, let's try and get you in somewhere around there. See, this doesn't... I don't really mind that it pokes through there. Um, because it's this type of fence. So, they would easily kind of do that. It's different if it's like if it had been some kind of completely, you know, solid metal fence or something, or even a wooden fence. Mm. Is that different in how they look, or is it just? I think it's just because we have shadow on the side. Do, do, do. Of course, it looks a little bit different with how it's tied and stuff, but I think there's not really a specific like front or back on this. Hmm. No, we have rope tied on both sides. Yeah. But that might actually be a really, really nice one to use. Uh, the other one, of course, is this one that we used over here, which I also really like. It looks a little bit more rugged, but that actually looks pretty nice. Um, okay, but I'm sure I'm going to end up using these later, but I think we're going to try and do something with those. That would be... I think that would match nicely. Mmm, that would be the latter, but we have plenty of sticks. Let's just go here, grab another stack. And fences. Now I'm happy that I did this. It's because it's called larger. So sometimes, somehow it just felt like this would be like twice the size of this one. Or something in height, but it's not. So that was kind of cool. Just make some more of them. Mmm. -mm. Okay, let's put you. Uh, okay, do we have we have snapping on? I don't know if these will snap. A free placing on. Let's turn that off. Oh, there we go. But okay, that snapping doesn't work at all. <laughs> it doesn't even snap to it properly. Then you end up having that little hole in the middle. No, that I'm not. We're definitely gonna do this manually. Now the thing is, I have to try and get this picked up without picking anything else up let's just do a little quick save and there we go so that i can kind of reload in case i end up picking something else up nice that's why i'm facing that way because i don't have anything right over there if i was facing that way it might somehow book out and i would end up picking up you know the building or something i don't really want that happening so we are gonna turn uh snapping off that would be set and Still shows me as I can place. Yeah, okay, and then we're gonna turn free placing on so that we can place it anywhere we want. But of course, that means I'm gonna have to try and line it up. Do I have it actually parallel? I do. That's good. We're gonna see how far out this is gonna stick. Mm, we might want to put this. Can we put it inside the other one, kind of, instead of having it next to? Try and oh no, let's try and get you kind of inside this one. You can more or less. So it almost see it looks like almost like there's only one. You can't really see it that there's two. So it looks like it's just the same one that's been used in the middle there. I kind of like that. And see, then it goes out this far. 
Mm, might be able to fit a... Well, I don't know what we're going to fit over there. I don't know what we're going to have in the middle. I really don't have many plans when it comes to that. I just make things up as I go. <laughs> I don't have like a, oh, this is what we're going to do. And then I build the entire thing. I just make it up. Um, if we went out further, we would end up over here. Uh, but I think that's too big maybe for what I want to go for. I think here's nice. And then we can have a pathway here. And then we still have a fairly open place there. Mm. I put you all the way over here. Do, do, do. But I would also add extra space for all for the chickens. Okay, how many chickens are we gonna end up having? That's the question. Because we do have, I think we have three different colors. We have the model, the brown and the white. Then there's two that you can buy from the animal trader. And what I'm gonna do, what I'm thinking I want to do is I'm gonna keep one of each color. And I'm going to try and see if I can keep one of each, so you have a male and a female for the, the animals that you can actually breed in the game. Uh, and then pretty much everything else I'm planning on releasing back out into the wild at some point. Um, I'm probably going to keep all the dogs uh, because they're domesticated or I might give some of them. That was actually one thing I was thinking about because we do have the farmers, for instance, in greenhouse. So I thought that would be nice to give some of them, especially if we give them some sheep back, then maybe give them a sheep dog or something, right? So we don't have to keep all the dogs, but I'm probably going to keep a bunch of them eh, because I don't want to just send them out into the wild. They're not wild animals. Um, but other than that, I think I want to keep one of each color. Um, and the, for legendary animals, I'm going to keep all of them. Uh, but that means it kind of limits a little bit what exactly that I am going to want to keep. So let's just see. If you want to make sure you know how many there's going to be, there are five colors. So that means there's only five that I'm going to keep. Uh, all of these are female, so I don't really have to worry about um, the male-female thing about these. But that means I'm going to have five different chickens. We're going to have a black-headed, red-headed model, brown and white. I could choose to keep more, but I don't think I want to. I can always breed. Uh, well, I can't breed these. These are not breedable, but you can also see there's no extra colors. If you are breeding some animals, uh, there will be some extra colors. So if we go in here and say, um, what is it I wanted to say? A rabbit. That is the word I was looking for. Uh, then we have all of these different colors here. Uh, I don't really see an extra one. I think I have there's a Dutch rabbit gold there. That's a female. Your gender undetermined. Hmm. So is that okay? You are female. Some of them just says undetermined, but some of them you will probably only be able to get from breathing. Usually, there's some animals that you can only get from breathing. I feel like I got a special one from when I was breeding. Yeah, this is what I was doing in my previous series. This one you get from breeding. Um, or you can get from breeding. You will also get the other ones, right? I don't know about the albino. I don't remember if we can find this anywhere else. Uh, or if you can only get it from breeding. But if you're missing some colors or you want to see how many colors you can get from a certain animal. To check that you have all of them. You can check in here. And usually if there's one that is different. Like for instance the melanistic here. You can definitely get this one from breeding. right? That would be why you would want to get into breeding. Uh, so we can both get a male and a female of these ones. Uh, and that's probably what I would want to get. Uh, see this one you can get in a male and a female too you can only get this one in a male for instance but here i would probably want to keep a female and a male of this brown one it doesn't matter which colors you use when you're breeding um it, it's not like it's gonna give you you know a brown one because you breed two brown ones or that you have to mix them to get a chance of getting something else it's completely random what you get um but anyway so that's where you can kind of check that, uh, how many colors you, you you can actually get. So that means we're only I'm probably only going to keep like five chickens. So I think this area would be just fine for that, uh, even though I was considering making it bigger. But we can put something else at the side there. Uh, maybe we'll put another dog house in there or something. Now, of course, the thing is, if that is going to, well, hmm. 
because now this is not as far or, or as long as it's it needs to be <laughs> that's always the challenge right that is always the challenge but we're gonna try and put that there let's see if that corner got ended up nice yeah i can i can barely even see this too well we can you can see it a bit of at the top there that there's two um let's see how it goes if i put these two into each other how is that gonna look hmm Well, you can kind of hide that, of course. I think I want to bring it all the way out. I'm going to try and put you there. That's usually what I try to do. Just kind of hide it. See, because now we have this little crossing here. But we can just put some some bushes or something. Which we're going to be putting there anyway. In here. And then kind of hide that. So I think that's going to be our little like chicken area. We need to get some bushes and some... some um, some uh, some chicken coops and things in here so let's have a little look in here we're gonna go down to enclosures that's not where it is uh shelters maybe yes because we do have a couple of chicken coops so we have this one and this one this is smaller than this one uh, but we might do both they take nails and timber so neither should be an issue oh i have everything on me i don't even know why i was gonna move somewhere else but we're gonna craft this and let's craft this there we go nice and then we're gonna see what we are gonna use and then i also wanted to let's go over here we're gonna grab some of the straw and then we are gonna go do, 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 do. is it uh enrichments Right? Yes. We have the small haystack. Let's just kind of make a couple of those. Something else I would like for the chickens. They might like a little water trough. I have a really large one there. Mm, I think I have one of these because we had to do that for the other one. I think that's the smallest one. These are kind of too big for the chickens, I feel like. Yeah. So we're going to go over here. Not that they necessarily needed to have water in there. They will kind of just be wandering around, I guess. Uh, but we do have these. We do have some of these other pieces we might want to use in there. Uh, what else do we have? Mm, I might end up doing more changes to this. But yeah, I think I like, I think I like that. And I don't know. Maybe we'll bring the fence over a little bit. Should we do that? I have one left here. We we'll leave it a bit open right over here, right? But then we can have the smaller ones are actually easier to mess around with these ones. If you want to make an enclosure and you don't really have the, the sizes or this, you know, it's just easier to make it fit somehow. I feel like with the smaller ones yeah, than these ones, but I kind of like these still. I like the look of them. There we go. That's kind of our little chicken coop area. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah there we go what if I wanted to but it doesn't really match does it it doesn't really match with this I was kind of thinking about putting something right here uh, let's see if that right that is right um, there but I don't think it matches very nicely that's what originally why I wanted to use the little one but that doesn't really no because mm, i like the idea of the fern kind of sticking out so i don't know maybe we'll go back to using the little ones <laughs> instead of the big ones i think i like that more maybe using these ones hmm mm, because i do like that cook to kind of just have this little rocket look and a little bit of an opening here where they can wander out if they like you to. Hmm. I think, I think we might do that. I think we might do that. Try and see if we can use the little ones instead. Let's do a quick little save. There we go. So we got them all picked up again. Wow, all that work. And then I ended up just undoing it. I know, I know it's terrible, but <laughs> that's just, that's, I don't know if that's how it is for you guys when you're building, but this is so typical for me. 
because I don't know how it's going to look until I am done, right? Until I have it kind of placed and then I'm like, mm, nah, I don't think I really like that. And then I'm going to redo it. There we go. Okay, so these ones should snap, snap just fine. So we're going to turn free placement off again and then we're going to turn the snapping on. And oh, let's do this. Come on. Just got to find the right spot. Mm. Oh, there we go. Got it. Yep. And another one. And let's try another one. And let's see. Mm hmm. And that would see. Then I want to leave, leave an opening here. I don't know. Maybe one or two open. Uh, how far over do I want to go? I think I want to go a little bit further, maybe. Let's try and go one more. And. And that might be a little too far, so I think we're going to go here. Which means we're going to turn the snapping off again and this free placement. And then we're going to try and get you to work here. Okay, let's just pick something and see if we had, have this. I think that is it, yeah. Okay. I'm going to try and get this little fence in. Does that look about right? Yep, okay, so we need a, some more of the little ones. Let's just go and make some more of those. Definitely think I want to do something with the other ones eventually. Oh, we probably need more sticks. Yo, we do burn through a lot of sticks making these though. Here we go, but fortunately they are easy to come by. So we're just going to make a few of these. There. I like that fence. I don't know why. I somehow like that fence just because it's rocket. I have this and of course it would kind of fit with my little, you know, it's kind of a little old area where things have kind of just been left to, you know, do their own thing. Um, because we're too busy with other stuff, right? So we're going to put you there and then that there. Wow, that actually added up perfectly. Then I don't even have to look at that. That was like the perfect distance. So that is perfect when you want to match up with something with one of these settlements, or at least with the apiary. I couldn't have fit much any per more perfect than that. Uh, very nice. Okay, so we're gonna put... If we can get you to go in there, you go there, you go there, and then we need one more. Let's make one more. Well, we don't actually need one more. We don't need one more because we're gonna pick one of these up. Uh, let's do a little quick save and then we're gonna see so we have one there so somewhere around here i think yes there we go and then we're gonna take you and put you right in there and look at that so how does that look i like that hmm might move remove one more and kind of just leave it open Let's see how it looks if we move one of these. Okay, I know it's it's uneven, but that's okay. I don't really mind that. Um, how does it look if we put one back here? Let's see, can I? Oh, free play. Oh, we have snapping on. Mm. Oh, you just don't want to. Uh, I can I get you to snap now? Replacing off, snapping on. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, it's being, it's messing with me. Uh, but okay, we're gonna, just gonna put you there temporarily and try and figure out the snapping later. Mm, because then it doesn't really match with this. Mm -hmm, but I do like that more. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but we're gonna pick you up because I want to make sure that we get it snapped in there. Yeah. But I might have to reload to get that to work. Okay, let's turn free placing on and turn it off again. Turn snapping off and then turn it on again. Just does not want to do it at all. <laughs> 
Okay, well, I'm gonna mess around with that some more later. Uh, see if we can, I can get it to work once I have kind of saved and reloaded. Okay, Hubert is still there. He's right over there, kind of keeping an eye on. He's not wandering off too far. Okay, so now we have all these little chicken cubes here. And I'm kind of thinking I might want to put some kind of bush right there in the back. Uh, which means we could kind of put you a little bit like this maybe. And then we can get a bush and kind of put that in there. Kind of make it a little bit rugged looking around here. And then we have, well we do have this old tree stump. Mm-hmm. That we could have kind of sitting around here somewhere. Just kind of put you there. We'll see how it all turns out in the end. I might end up moving things some more. Then we have this fairly big one. Uh, I'm not sure I really like that. Can we make you? We can actually make you a little bit smaller. Hmm. What if I just kind of leave you just lying right there? Oh, I actually have two of them. Oh. It kind of sticks up a bit. Mm. But that's not necessarily a problem. Then we have this, of course. Okay. And we're going to make that really, really small. Uh, looks like it wasn't this one. I think in the big one you can kind of almost fit it inside, or at least I managed to do that in the past. Um, but we could have a bit of this kind of just lying around right there. And then I have to pay a visit to the uh, landscapist. Then we have uh, this one, which actually has like a little, some truths that goes with it, but I don't think there's anything in them, actually. Um, but I'm thinking that could go nicely over here, somewhere more or less in the middle. There we go. Let's see. Yeah, that looks fine. I might move it, but... There we go. Just a couple of little houses. Then we need to put in some more green stuff in here, of course. Uh, so we have, like, that over there. Uh could let's turn the free placement what if i put you kind of there growing a little bit i have no idea how this is gonna turn out guys I'm just kind of popping a little stuff in here okay well we're getting somewhere we're getting somewhere let's make sure to eat and drink and then there we go okay i think so far, that is everything just like I wanted. So we're going to do a little quick save. Yeah. And then let's see what we have over here. Because we do have some stuff. Just trying to make sure use of some of all this stuff that we actually have. But don't think there's any of this that I want to put in there. Mm. Nope. Nope, no, no. And we have these. Let's put you away and you. Uh, that one. This we might need. We're going to put you away. Don't think I want this. And we're going to put that away for now. Yep. And then we are going to go. We're going to head off and talk to the landscapist. So I need some wild seeds. And uh, that plant storage in here. How many? Oh, we have 43. Hmm. Okay, so, but uh, we need some for settlements, so I don't really want to use them. Some of them you're going to need at the landscapers too. We have the wild seeds. Uh, we do have some pearls. I think we needed pearls at the landscapers too for something. Uh, but I don't fully remember exactly what we're going to need there. We have so many goodies in here. Look at all this. Okay, so I have 13 white tail feathers. I have 11, so I think maybe we can buy one of the chickens. Um... Because I think we need 10 for each, but we're going to check. So let's just head off to Cobb's Harbor. Okay, so let's see if we have what we need. We need to talk to this guy, but let's first uh, check you. Uh, oh, here we go. Yes, so we have the chickens here. As you can see, it says 10 and 10 and 10 and 10. So I think we're just going to buy one of these for starters. 
Uh, yep. So we're gonna buy you. Now we have the red-headed one, and we're gonna need to buy the black-headed when we get some more feathers. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do for now. I think I actually brought something with me. Uh, yes, Easter egg basket. So you have two Easter egg baskets, and you can buy this one. Uh, I think we're just gonna buy you since I have everything I need for it on me. So let's just take you with us. Uh, I, I think I only, I'm only gonna want one of these. Uh, we might buy a second one at some point, but I think I just want one and I'm probably gonna use the, the other baskets for decor uh, because I just want one of each. We have so many bunnies, right? Um, and then we are gonna have a little chat with you. So what can we buy in here? Uh, we can actually buy some of these. Yes, that's what we needed the pearls for. So there's a small pond. Definitely gonna have to get one of those eventually. Uh, don't really want it for what we're doing right now. I just wanted to see what we could get. Um, these are actually also really, really pretty. Definitely gonna want some of these things here. Oh, I think this would be really cool for like a wolf enclosure or something. Uh -huh. And then there is actually, which I had, this has been added at some point. I had either forgotten about it or it's just been added um, since I last played because we've been asking about getting some kind of animal cave. It looks kind of small though. I think I'm going to buy one. It's 100 gold coins and two pearls. Because I'm not going to want this and I want to see how big it is so I can plan with it because... Based on the look of it, it doesn't look like it's big enough for something like a bear. I've kind of been hoping we would get like a big boulder thing with a big hole in so we could that would fit for a bear enclosure. Um, and or at least just give the illusion that you would have like a cave in there where the bears could go into. But this looks more like something that might fit for a wolf or something. But we'll see how big it is, right? Um, definitely want that. Then we have all kinds of little rocks. I was wondering if I want some of this for our little chicken place. Mm. Do, do, do. Big arid rock, medium arid rock, small. Uh, they take seashells though, so not really something I have with me. Then we have all kinds of other logs that we could. That takes two Bronx coins. I probably have my Bronx coins on me. Hmm... Let's buy one of these. We can make more Bronx coins. Uh, and we have some more here. I kind of like these ones with the mushrooms. It kind of gives this feeling that that log has been lying around for a long time, right? We have a thin one there. We have some more stumps. Uh, and then this is, of course, the one I already placed one of in our enclosure. Okay, and then we need to go in here. This is kind of what I wanted to go here for. Um, we need something smaller. Uh, ba -ba -ba, let's buy some oleander. They take 10 gold coins and some wild seeds. So you are going to need a lot of wild seeds if you're going to do a lot of decorating. Uh, but we do have 266. That they are pretty easy to come by, especially compared to in the way past they would ha were had. But there are so many... Plants now that gives wild seeds, so you do get a lot of them as you're exploring. Um, and then, of course, it takes some gold coins, but we've been getting some coins from enemies and stuff. So I usually like these as kind of a little bit of a filler, you know, add some green, some little bushes or something. So definitely going to want to have some of those. And uh, then there's this ficus. I'm not quite sure how big it is. Let's grab one. Oh, I could easily buy a bunch of all of this, but right now I'm just trying to get some of the stuff that I think I might want. I usually really like the maple trees. The red maple is pretty too. Because then we have them as we progress and we can do a bit more. Um, There's some apple trees. Oh, these ones, little ones. I kind of like those. Let's get a few of them. And there's these little green bushes that you can also use for a little bit of filler. There's a dry version as well. There's also a fall version or just an, you know, more golden color. Um, we have some palm stuff. Not really what I want for the areas we are in right now. Not quite sure how big this one is either, so let's grab it. There's also these that have stuff hanging off them. There's like mangrove trees if you want to go very thematic. Um, you can make some cool stuff with some of this. Yucca trees, Asalia. Oh, we need at least one more of these because we're missing one for 
at one of our settlements, right? Then there's this little grass here. Let's. I don't usually use this a lot because it doesn't match the other grass, but it might fit into a, an enclosure. We have cattails, uh, elephant grass. I usually end up using some, using some of these as a little bit of filler as well. Mm, all the babies. Okay, let's just grab some of these. One of these. We have corn. We have wheat. Um, sunflowers. Mm -mm -mm. We have the dog rose as well. Uh, that might be a nice one. Well, there's lots of this. That's really nice. <laughs> I could get, go completely crazy with this, but we're going to get more over time. Uh, there's the white oak. That might be a nice one. Kind of skip some of all these. I love the willow trees. Uh, but they kind of need a lot of space and I feel like they need to be more out of in maybe a bit of a more open area. Not really where we're building at the moment. Let's grab one of these London plane trees. There's an amber version. Uh, let's buy an elm tree as well. Ooh, birch tree. Yeah, let's grab a couple of those. There's also white birch amber. There we go. Okay, so I kind of spent half my money and a whole bunch of wild seeds. And that gave us a whole bunch of stuff that we can play around with. There's also these that you can buy as well. But I think that's what we're going to go with for now. We're definitely all going to need a pond at some point. But, oh wow, it got dark stacks on, suddenly. <laughs> oh, there we go. Look at that. Oh, we have the pretty purple sky today but it's actually getting a little bit late see we have the sunrise sunset over there um okay but we got this far with it now we have a whole bunch of stuff we can try and mess around with but i think we're gonna continue with that uh, next time do a little bit more uh, polishing on this and then there's some other stuff i want to see if we can craft because i think we have everything we need to make the chemistry station now um so we might do that in the next episode but this one has already run pretty long uh so we are going to continue with this next time but we got started on this and we're going to get our little chicken in here next time too so uh, thank you for watching guys and as always do take care and happy gaming